I'm Cliff Parsons and welcome to preeminent customer experience number 27. Today we want to talk about service recovery versus service prevention. Imagine you go out to dinner with some friends hoping to enjoy a great meal together. Unfortunately, the dinner ends up being a disaster, service is slow, order's wrong, it takes too long to pay your bill. You and your friends are ticked off and can't wait to leave the place. On your way out the door, you pause to talk to the manager. You decide that you are going to give her a piece of your mind, you explain your irritation, and the manager apologizes profusely. Every indication is that she wants to make things right for you and your friends. She wants to make things more than right. She refunds your entire party for their meals, talks the group into staying for a complimentary dessert, and sends everyone home each with a bottle of wine and a gift card to cover a future meal. You and your friends leave the restaurant having gone from frustration to delight. What was once a horrific evening, evening ended up being a night to remember. You plan to come back and you're grateful that the manager went out of her way to address the situation. This is a great customer service recovery story, right? Organizations often share stories like this as an example of customer experience recoveries. They are the source of organizational folklore. We all enjoy a comeback story. A lone manager turns around a bad situation. A Herculean effort regains a customer. However, if you step back from the situation and consider what unfolded, it is apparent that the recovery effort was a costly endeavor. Not only did the restaurant forgo the revenue for several people for, for several people for two meals, but the server's pay likely suffered too. After all, you probably don't add big tips to the bill when paying for bad service and slow service. Very possible other restaurant customers witnessed your frustrations and suffered from similar service themselves. Add to these issues the impact of an evening of frustrated diners on overall restaurant employee morale. There's a possibility the entire restaurant crew was overwhelmed and overworked throughout their entire shift. The true saving grace of the evening is that you as a customer decided to voice your concerns. However, what about the other customers who were equally frustrated but simply walked out of the door? Many of them vowed never to return and had every intention to tell their friends and family to do the same. How are they recovered? Now, I understand why we often brag about recovering a bad customer situation. It makes us feel better about what unfolded and creates a sense of security because we fixed a problem. However, what would have been the value if the restaurant had never delivered poor customer experience in the first place? In other words, what's the value of poor customer experience prevention as opposed to that of poor customer experience recovery? I know, I know. You're probably thinking, we won't know what we prevented. And I'd like you to consider for today's huddle, what if we could or did figure out how to prevent and capture the prevention our superior preeminent customer experience efforts provide. I'd like to invite you and your team members to discuss this idea right now. Consider also that although we tend to tell story of the times we made everything right with the customer, what stories could we tell about how we prevented an issue long before it became an issue? That is preeminent. That is predictable, repeatable, reliable, world-class customer experience and the experience we are looking to foster and create here at Anderson Hauser. I'm Cliff Parsons and we'll see you next time.